Hi, my beautiful scented people. Welcome back to my world of fragrance. I was minding my own business the other day on YouTube, uploading a video, you know, as you do. And there was this guy in a suit who was talking about... <laughs> so essentially fragrances that if a man wears will make women drop their panties and want to have sex with them. So with myself being a woman, evidently, I thought, why don't I try out these fragrances and see what my reaction is? I mean, will I go crazy, lose my shit, and take my pants off? Or what the heck is going to happen? So this video is just for fun and games. If you have no sense of humor, maybe not watch this one. Also, if you're one of those crazy fanatics that goes crazy if anyone has a different opinion to you on a certain fragrance, maybe not your type of video either. So um, yeah, let's see what I think about these so-called panty droppers. And I actually have a pair of panties. <laughs> I brought out some sexy ass panties, you know, high waisted, large in size, full coverage. And if anything strikes my fancy, I might drop these. So let's start off by smelling the first one, which is Stronger With You by Armani. So let me get my blotter here. This is a fragrance that could pass off as being a feminine fragrance, like marketed for women. It's quite sweet, has some vanilla in there for sure. It's feminine, it's sweet, it has some spice in there that's, you know, appealing. Amps up the vanilla somewhat. Yeah, it's okay. So far, a five out of 10. Still the same scent, I would say. It hasn't changed much from the opening. Um, yeah, sweet, it's all right. Five out of 10 so far. So next, let's try L'Homme Ideal by Guerlain. And this is an actual, you know, fragrance house. Guerlain does great fragrances, although they are widespread and all over the place. They were originally a perfume house, so. This is nice. Fresh, pretty, quintessentially manly. This is quite citrusy. It has some woody undertones that are quite typical to, you know, mainstream men's fragrances. There's probably cedar in here as well. Um, nothing to write home about, I would say. Pleasant enough. I would say six out of 10 so far. <laughs> Don't hate me, anyone. So now I'm gonna try Prada Lom. And this, I definitely, have tried before. I remember quite liking this one, so let's see. This is smooth, it's subtle, it's gentlemany, it has some soapiness to it, like some shampoo-esque vibes. Yeah, this gives me the feel of like clean hair that's being whooshed around. <laughs> the breeziness of clean hair. A nice out of the shower fragrance. Um, six out of 10 so far. So what's next? We have Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. And, oh boy, haven't smelled this one, like tested it for a while. Um, This smells pretty good. This is the 2008 version that I have a sample of, so it's probably been reformulated and, you know, is slightly different now, but the 2008 version is not bad. I would just say though that when this one dries down, it reminds me of like every cool guy or wannabe cool guy in high school. So for that reason, I avoid this like the plague. If I meet a guy that wears this, no, like run the other way. I wouldn't recommend 
having a guy wear something because they think some girl's ex wore it, like, no. That's a no, man. <laughs> um, so that one I would give a 7 out of 10. So far, a 7 out of 10. So now I'm going to test the last fragrance in the Panty Dropper lineup. And so far, panties are on, people. So let's see. This one is from Tom Ford, so it is... Uh, one of the more expensive ones in this lineup, and it's also from the private collection, I believe. So it's Tobacco Oud. And... <laughs> smells like Oud. Dry, woody. Probably the most up my street out of all of these fragrances, simply because I enjoy Oud. Yeah, I definitely feel the dry tobacco in here. I mean, I want to have a sip of water just from smelling this. I like that one. That one I would give an 8 out of 10 so far. No, just kidding. So far this one stands out the most to me just because it's like the boldest one out of all of these five fragrances. But if we're talking like tobacco oud fragrances in general, um... I have smelled better, but it is like some smokiness is creeping up in this as well, which I'm, you know, quite fairly enjoying. So far, 8 out of 10 for this one. So let's revisit them. First one. No, this has gone down to 4 out of 10. Stronger with you. Sorry. L'Omidial, I'll give that a 6 out of 10. Prada Lom a five for now. Yeah, a five. Le Mal a three out of ten now because this is becoming more and more familiar and not in a good way. Tom Ford Tobacco Oud. This has gone down. I'll give this a six out of ten. Six and a half out of ten, okay? So there you have it, the panty droppers rated by a woman. I hope you enjoyed this video and saw the fun in this. Let me know down below if any of these are your favorites, not judging or anything. And um, yeah, see you later.